Can you define creativity? <sighs> In the beginning, there was this empty space here and uh, someone thought something should go there. So they put it there and a lot of us thought it was nice. So we left it there. It really is just a quest to put something in a space that wasn't there before. Something you can point to and say, I made this. This poem, this painting, this song, this book didn't exist. And then I made it. Do you think it can be learned or developed? Or is creativity just one of those things you're either born with or you're not? I think that it's more complex than a yes or no answer. I think that uh, certainly some people are born with innate talents and gifts, just like one might be born with an aptitude for a particular sport, but it doesn't mean that gifts can't be squandered or that people with less natural ability can't develop what they've got. I mean, if Usain Bolt doesn't train regularly and watch his diet and maintain, you know, the psychological will to win, you know, all the natural prowess in the world won't help him. And the same goes for an artist. And having taught for several years, I know that there will always be a group of students who, you know, at the top, um, everything just comes effortlessly to them. And of course, there are a few at the bottom where no amount of effort or coaxing can help. But uh, for the majority, if you work at something, you get better. And the better you become, the more inspired you feel. And uh, so, yeah, on balance, I'd have to say creativity can be learned and developed. Um, it's uh, as much perspiration as it is inspiration. And the the notion of the natural genius is largely a myth. When did you first start creating things? When did you realize that this meant you were a creative person? Gosh, I don't know. You know, in primary school, we had a period a week for arts and craft and another for music. And uh, I was never really very good at any of this. And uh, I seem to remember my teachers despairing on a few occasions. But maybe it's because I was a shy kid or not very sporty or a natural target for bullies. Somehow, I just got very good with words and words became sort of my thing. So I guess in mid-high school, I started writing poetry very badly and songs followed and they were even worse. But I stuck with it long enough to the point where I reckon I'm pretty good with it. I mean, you know, <laughs> I can hold up my end. Why do you continue to create? Do you feel like you have a choice? Well, it's not for the money. I'd like to say you've always got a choice, but uh, it's not always a good choice. And, uh, you know, after my band broke up in 1999, uh, largely due to the general indifference of the music industry in South Africa, which, uh, you know, ironically became the norm the world over in the new millennium, I went into a profound sulk, which lasted almost a decade, during which time I didn't even pick up a musical instrument or write anything creative, you know, other than journalism for money. But I really lost sight of who I was. And it was only really when tentatively around 2008, I started getting back into music again. And, uh, you know, these days the music industry is just as depressing, but at least I've lowered my expectations. So I create new work uh, because something compels me to do so, I suppose, um, because I want to leave something behind because I can't stop a lyric or a melody popping into my head. And if it does, why not write it down? Why not record it? Why not push that snowball down? On the mountain. Can you describe your creative routine? Nah, I don't have a creative routine. Uh, when I'm on a project like uh, demoing a, a new song for my band, The Size of Monsters, or we're working on an album or something, I just usually beaver away at it with varying degrees of intensity until it's done. You know, everything's chaos until the deadline looms, and then I manage to pull a rabbit out of a hat. And, you know, whether this is a skill I've developed or just plain dumb luck, uh, only time will tell. If I'm really stuck, I'll go and have a nap and literally sleep on it. I like the uh, romanticism of uh, writing with a pen and paper. And, uh, you know, people have told me it's a good meditation. But uh, to be honest, I word process. So I'm either at my desk or I'm lying in bed with a laptop. And, uh, you know, also I like new guitars because they always gift you with a song, particularly if they're old and have had several previous owners. And this is possibly my only mystical belief. Uh, it's a very self-serving one, of course. So. Switching to another instrument like piano or organ, for example, that forces you to think differently uh, and that can trigger new ideas. But, uh, you know, when I'm chasing an idea down, it tends to take over. So it's always looping in my brain on the train, watching TV, lying in the bath. And the song knows his boss and and it ain't me. How do you separate your creative urges into the different things you do? 
such as design, music, writing, etc. Oh, that's easy. I, uh, I only designed for money uh, or to create uh, material to promote one of my other projects. I mean, it's something I'm pretty good at, but it isn't really a, a creative passion or outlet for self-expression. Uh,